Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMAX.US and today I have this 2007 Tiffin Allegro Bus 40 QSP. Now this coach comes finished in the sunlight sand uh, paint job and this thing has been well maintained over the last couple of years. We actually sold it in 2011 uh, to a couple in Idaho and now we have it back on our lot and it's ready to go and it has new batteries, new tires, a new refrigerator and a lot of nice options that we're going to talk about more in depth today. So let's get started with it. Up front we have a one-piece panoramic windshield um, and they call it panoramic because it kind of sweeps a little bit around but it really just gives you a great view of the road. You don't have that the seal in the middle. We got two even uh, chrome mirrors. They're bus style mirrors. The front of the coach is actually in pretty good condition. Um, it does have a 3M coating on the front and the 3M coating is excellent. Uh, a lot of times you'll see the 3M coatings on these coaches from this era start to go bad, but this one looks fantastic. So it's still up there protecting your paint. Now in here we have an Onan Quiet Diesel 7500 watt um, generator that actually this thing is equipped with the optional automatic generator start system as well. Come around the side here. Now this is equipped with side cameras, so you've got one here and then there's one on the other side as well. Up there you just have a little compartment. This thing has aluminum wheels all the way around and the paint and body of the coach is actually in superb condition. Um, there's still a lot of glaze and obviously it's full body paint so there's no fading. Now right here we have a window awning and this window awning comes with a aluminum shroud and this is like an acrylic yeah, material. So those are said to last uh, 10 years plus. We actually have a little bit kind of torn off there. So to mention that, you could quick fix that or really it doesn't require much you know, to do it right now. It's still doing its job. Now you've got your hot water heater down there. That's what that little grill is right here. That'll be a high output hot water heater. Now back in your driver's side dually, that has Goodyear new tires. Now this being a side radiated coach is definitely the, you know, a, a big step up from having a rear radiated coach. And this comes equipped with a 400 horsepower um, ISL Cummins, just stored back here. And it also has, uh, as standard with the Legro bus, is a two-stage exhaust brake. You also have a main cutoff for your chassis side batteries right there. That's uh, pretty convenient if you're going to store the coach away. Also quick access to all your fluids um, and belts. There are many pluses to having the side radiated setup. And right down here we have our tow hitch. This has a 10,000 pound towing capacity. All right, we're on the passenger side of this coach now. Now on this side we have two window awnings, each um, placed on the slide out areas and they both come with aluminum shrouds as standard. The paint is excellent. I've been mentioning that, but I just want to highlight the fact that you have good condition paint um, because a lot of times you'll see a lot of nicks and scuffs on the bottom of the coach because people are not very good at driving them um, and they'll run into a bush or something like that. Up top we have a massive electric patio awning um, and we also have an electric door awning as well. Um, let me go in and operate that. Now it is push button. There it comes. It's also an acrylic awning with an aluminum shroud. This is the weather pro system actually. So it is equipped with wind sensors. There it is. It's actually a pretty long window awning, I mean a patio awning. Now this is our door awning here. Push button electric as well. Now this is made from a simple vinyl material. But that's really nice because if it's raining, etc., and you come to unlock your coach, well, you're covered, um, so that's a big plus. Yeah, it's a very striking coach. The body style in the front, I, I really like the, the graphics and the paintwork on the front of the coach. A lot of times, manufacturers try to go in with a simple, um, like, a, like a symmetric design on the front, and it depends on personal preference, but uh, if you take a peek at our Prevo over there, which I've been referring to in the last few videos, it's not symmetric, okay? It's mildly symmetric, but it's also got this gorgeous design in the front that's not a slave to 
the actual box of the coach. And that's the same idea with this paint job. Check it out. I mean, we already talked, we already saw the front, but I'm just highlighting this a little more. It's actually a really neat looking paint job. And it mimics like if you imagine a wind from a tornado uh, kind of affecting all the graphics and the paintwork. And it kind of gives you me at least that feel. And I like that a lot. All right, so you do have a keypad to get in here. So you can unlock the door. And all of the doors, the cargo doors, are push button unlocked. There's a button right inside the door. All right, so right here, we just have some electrical components, uh, mainly for your chassis side, the smart wheel, et cetera. We also have our windshield wiper fluid right there. Um, and notice the light that is keeping this area well lit for you. And also up to, to the right, you have the uh, release for the slide out generator compartment. So I'm gonna close that. It's a triangle shaped key. Lock it up. We have our aluminum wheel right here. Yep, looks great. Um, we actually had them polished recently, but it has rained on this coach a few times, so uh, heads up. The coach is not perfectly clean, as I'm sure you could tell. Um, dual fill-up capability, so we've got one fill-up access point here and another on the other side. There we go. So really tight, these doors. Now this is your propane tank right here. That is a 35 gallon propane tank. Really tight, these doors. There we go. Very well sealed. Um, a lot of times, the tighter it is to pull, uh, the better the seal is on the compartment door. Now this is a pass-through storage compartment here. Massive amount of storage. All right, now right here, we have another pass-through storage compartment. Um, it's actually just one entire underbelly compartment here. You have multiple access points to it. Um, now on your right, this is equipped with a central vacuum. Um, so you can vacuum up your underbelly compartment as well as the inside and it all goes right there. Right here, you have your hot water heater and you can open this up by turning that and then, that's a little difficult to do, opening it up. And let's see what capacity, probably a 10 gallon. Yes, 10 gallon, 10 US gallons. Wait, does it say the, um, break this back open. Yes, 12,000 BTU. So that's um, high output for 10 gallons. That's the idea behind those. Um, that's not, that's the reason they don't have to have like a 100 gallon uh, thing. And we're gonna cut real quick because this plane is about to ruin my shot. All right, we're back. And even though the coronavirus is a thing right now, there of course has to be like probably the one singular plane that's flying in South Carolina has to go overhead while I'm outside. <laughs> so let's open up the um, water compartment. Really stiff uh, shocks. These may be new actually. And it sounds like our pump is on. It shouldn't be on because the coach is winterized right now. Um, so right here you have your valve. You can go from city water to tank fill. What that means is you're basically directing where you want the water inlet to go. Do you want it to fill your tank or do you want to supply yourself with uh, city water pressure not have to use your pump. Um, now this is a cool little thing. So you just pull it out however long you need to and then push a button, wheels itself back in. Now this is one of my favorite things for water hoses, that. Um, it's pretty decently sealed, um, at least more than those holes are. And it's quick, it's very easy to work. Now this is just standard gray, black. Um, and then you have your hot water bypasses for when you um, winterize the coach. And over there you have a sewer flusher as well, um, which is nice. Also quick access to your water pump, which is super nice. Now right here is your driver's side dually. Aluminum wheel, again, in excellent condition, a little dirty. We apologize for that. Um, unfortunately, it's been raining a lot around here, which is actually good for the grass, um, but I am looking forward to the days where we can just calm down with the rain. All right, right here is where your 50 amp power cable is. God, these are all really well sealed, these, these compartment doors. Now you also have um, a cable hookup here. Looks like you got some wire that goes with it. So same deal as the water hose. Pull it out, and then there should be a button somewhere. There it is. Reels this stuff quickly back in. Now again, I like these. These are great. These are a great idea. Much better than the holes. The holes are really annoying. That's it. You're done. Super easy. Pull back out. Where's the button? There it is. Done. Very quick, convenient way to be able to plug into shore power. Now right here is your radiator. 
straight walls. The slides are in right now, so you can really see the paint and you can really see the condition of the side of the coach. Um, now this has an aluminum slash steel framing um, built by Tiffin. It's actually sitting on a Spartan chassis as well. But again, straight walls, perfectly straight. I already talked about the engine, so I'm not gonna go over that too much. Notice the chrome Allegro bus mud flap. Um, very classy, I like that. And this tailpipe is also really nice. It's chrome and it has like a specific spot that comes out of the bodywork. Um, again, classy, I like the styling. Now, uh, before we talk about this compartment, that vent right there is for your uh, washer dryer. If you wanna put that in or washer dryer combo, it's really for the dryer. Um, so it's an air vent. Like we said, or like you will see later in the video, it is already set up to get a washer dryer. Now that right there is your inverter. And you also have some solenoids. This will be for uh, coach side stuff. Put that down. All these doors shut really solidly. Right here you have your, let's see, those are your coach side batteries. Again, all the batteries are brand new in this coach. You also have a cutoff over there for the house side batteries. All right, so this is your passenger side dually. Again, aluminum wheel. Now this is your ventilation for your gas furnace. This is the access points to all your pass-through storage compartment areas. A lot of storage in this coach, um, massive amount. Very, very tall as well. Huge benefit of having an 07 coach. Uh, this is right around when they started making these things taller. So this is an optional entertainment center. And uh, yeah, sure, the TV is dated, uh, but guess what? All the TVs work. And, um, and also guess what? You already have a slide out tray set up. All you need to do is go out and buy a, probably a TV that would fit in here. You could, the, the maximum amount of TV you could fit in here would cost you, I don't know, $100. Uh, let, let's just say 2K if they even, I mean uh, $200 if you want a 4K TV, you know, 300. I mean, they're so cheap. I remember a couple years ago, there was like $5,000 for a 65 inch 4K TV. Nowadays it's $400. Um, I mean, technology moves fast, so this is already wired for that fancy, great-looking outdoor system you want. Um, all you have to do is take the TV out. But you already have the speakers, everything's wired, super nice. And right here you have your control unit for your Weather Pro, by the way. Um, there's outlets under here, too, so you can plug in. You already have your Panasonic speakers. So, All right, I think that concludes the compartments. Right there we have our passenger side wheel which is also aluminum and wrapped with a Goodyear tire. All the wheels are in excellent condition. And um, yeah, so you can, you can call the, uh, the little covers that you have. So if you look at like, um, nothing to put them down, but if you see a lower end coach, uh, especially a diesel or a gas coaches, almost always have them. Sometimes they don't. There, it's just a wheel and then there's like a aluminum cover over it. Um, these, with, which come with the higher end coaches uh, are all aluminum wheels and there's no hubcaps. Um, I guess you could call this a little center cap. Uh, but besides that, um, beautiful looking wheels. All right, you know what? It's time to get the uh, interior done and you're gonna hear from our guest interior presenter. Her name is Kaya. And um, yeah, let's see how we do. We're trying something new today uh, with the editing, you know, cause honestly our editing is not very good. Uh, so we're trying to up our game in that department. So let's see, let's see how we do. All right, we're up on the roof. Now this has a one-piece crown fiberglass roof. And we also have covers for all your fantastic fan vents. They're Max Air covers. This is perfect. It means you can have your fans open when it's raining or if it's super windy. This coach has the solar panel, a uh, solar package, which is optional. Two roof air conditioners that also are equipped with heat pumps you got your antenna there, and this also has an optional in-motion satellite dish, King Dome. The roof looks good. I mean, there's really rarely anything wrong with fiberglass roofs. It's got some clear coat coming off, but guess what? It's a 2007. Um, it's been out in the sun a little bit. But overall, the roof looks good. Nothing to really speak of up here. I mean, the clear coat, yeah. Like I said, 07. Um, it's... Uh, and honestly, I'd rather have it 45,000 miles than it to have like 5,000 miles. Diesels are made to run, they're not made to sit around. Um, I think a lot of people forget, you know, when it comes to miles, 
uh, they forget about the fact that these engines are made to go in semi trucks. So a coach with 110,000 miles is nothing, um, depending you know on most of these motors. But this one only has 45,000 miles. Um, that thing right there has like 120,000 miles. Guess what? It's made to go a whole lot longer than that. These coaches are made to drive. They're made to use. And we encourage, we, we hope people buy these things to use them. A lot of people buy them and just set them up and never really do anything with it. But these are amazing devices if you use them. I mean, think about it. You have so much freedom. You have your home on wheels. You can do anything you want. You can go anywhere you want. Um, especially right now with this coronavirus, go set up in the middle of the woods, you know, crack open an adult beverage or some coffee or tea if you don't drink adult beverages and just hang out, read a book, stay out away from everybody. Now is a good time to get one of these things. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get back down and uh, we'll continue and ignore my rambling. All right, so we are now on the inside of this RV and when you walk in, it has a really cozy feel to it. Like I feel like I'm in uh, a cabin in the middle of the woods. It has a very peaceful feel to it. So um, we also have tile from the living room all the way back to the bathroom. And now we're going to step into the living room. All right, so let's do a tour of the living room area. Um, over here, you have a pretty decent sized couch. It turns into a full bed, so you can sleep probably two people here, maybe three kids if you want. Um, over here, you have a love seat. It's a pretty good size, you can fit two people here probably comfortably, they're about my size. Um, and this also turns into a bed. So it'd be a twin size bed. So you have two beds, you can sleep at least three people in this area. Um, over here you have your flat screen TV and you have your pilot and co-pilot seat. And I really like these chairs, they're really comfortable. I mean, as you can see, I sink in, they're really plush. And the co-pilot seat actually reclines. So you have one person sitting here in the living room area, one over there, three there, and two over there. So you have plenty of room in this area. And let's go ahead and step into the kitchen. All right, so we're now in the kitchen area, and you have plenty of counter space in here. Um, you have this extra extension that goes under here if you want. It's also really sturdy and it locks into place. You have drawers under here, so if you want to put utensils. Oh, I didn't lock it, but it has a little lock under here if you want to lock it. So you have plenty of counter or drawer space under there. Um, this goes back really far. You put a coffee maker over there if you want to cook. Um, over here you have a three burner gas stove with Corian inserts. You also have an oven, which you don't see very often anymore. Up here you have your convection microwave oven. And then over here you have your dual stainless steel sink with Corian inserts as well. You also have a little soap dispenser over here, so that's nice. You have this extra space over here if you want to like put dishes, like if you're serving food. Um, I really like the backsplash in the kitchen area. It's continued throughout the coach. Um, I like how it matches the Corian. I also really enjoy the stainless steel accents in it. Um, let's talk about the little pantry area you have over here. So you have a little pull-out pantry. Put some food in there. And then over here, you have your refrigerator. top you have your freezer with an ice maker and let's go over here and talk about our really cool dinette all right so over here you have your booth dinette and it's actually an aftermarket booth that's almost like a restaurant style booth you sit probably four people here comfortably uh, you have plenty of room and the aftermarket is actually really well I really like this table that matches the wood almost perfectly um, and same with the leather. The leather almost matches the, uh, the couches perfectly as well. Um, let's go ahead and get to the bedroom and bathroom area. All right, so over here, before you enter your bathroom area, 
you have a few controls. So you have one over here for your solar panel. You have a little USB port there. You have three light switches. And then you have your controls for your fantastic fan vent. And over here you have your thermostat for your air conditioning or your electric heat. And you also have a furnace. All right, so now we're in the bathroom area. And to my right, we have a toilet room. So you have some cabinet space in there, a toilet, a sink, and then a little vanity area. You also have a fantastic fan in there. Um, up here you have another fantastic fan. And then here you have a sink with some more vanity space. Uh, you have some drawers and cabinets. You have the backsplash that matches the rest of the coach. Then over here you have your shower slash bathtub. So it has a little it has like a little mini bathtub in here, which I think would be good for if you have kids or if you have like a dog or something that you want to wash. Um, you have plenty of room in here. It's really tall. You have a nice skylight with no water leaks in here. And then let's take a step over into the bedroom area. All right, so before we enter the bedroom. Here you have two partition doors that separate your bedroom from your bathroom. You have a little lock in between, so you can lock the two together. So in here you have a California King bed. Really nice mattress, it's very plush and soft. Um, over here you have a Panasonic TV. Um, it's pretty old, it still has a little VHS tape player. Um, you have plenty of cabinet space in here. And they, it looks like they added a little backsplash to this area. And over here, um, there's some rippling in the wallpaper, but it's still really solid back there, so there's no water leaks or anything, so it's just a little rippling. Um, over here, you have some cabinet space. Um, you put like towels or something in there. But you also have um, hookups for a washer and dryer. So if you want to put that in here, you can. And the hookups, if you want to look, they're right up in here. So you can hook that up and put those in if you want. You have a really good size wardrobe in here. It's cedar lined um, with sliding doors that you can open from both ends. A really big mirror have some more space up here. You have some outlets back here on uh, both sides of the bed. And I think um, that will conclude the inside tour of this RV. Um, so now we're going to go hit the road and mine's going to do a review of how it drives. All right, so the slides are currently in right now and I wanted to demonstrate how much space you have when the slides are completely closed like they are right now. You actually have a good bit of space considering that this is a four slide coach that provides a lot of space with the slides open. Um, you can nearly walk entirely to the bathroom while not having to turn sideways. You can get to your refrigerator, you can get to your kitchen area, you can sit in your booth dinette, eat a snack, and once you get into the bathroom area you have full normal operating pace, I mean operating space. So that is a huge plus on this coach. Um, you can still get to your bed. Obviously, you can't really get to your um, your wardrobe back there, but that's good to be expected in really all coaches that have slides. Um, yeah, super nice amount of space in here. Um, the only place it gets slightly tight is around the uh, dinette area. But besides that, excellent walking space. All right, I'm going to slip this in right before the cockpit video. So right here, you've got slide-out controls, your tank level tests, water heater, water pump. Um, you know, it's got a gas and electric element. You got your own end. This is the uh, automatic gen start system. Super nice. This is for your uh, inverter, so you can turn it on and off here, see what's going on with it. And this is the controller for your King Dome. All right, here's a quick overview of the cockpit area. So over to my right, thermostat controls. I'm not gonna talk about the regular things, but I will talk about your backup camera. So right now it's on the rear camera as standard. Indicate to the left, and you have your left side camera. Indicate to the right, you have your right side camera. 
completely eliminates blind spots. Super nice. 45,000 miles on this coach. Um, all your gauges, standard stuff, oil pressure, temperature. This thing has a spotlight, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You have your mirror controls, 2100 hours on that generator. Jacks down, warning light if your jacks are down, your parking lights. Over here you have pedal adjusts, which I don't think is working right now. Radio switch, you can turn your horn on and off, so big horn, standard horn. Uh, big horn is the best, obviously. <laughs> Auxiliary start, you've got your step cover control, so when you press that, step comes out. Press it again, comes back in. Now you do have electric, you know, power shades, so or sun shades. This is super nice. Um, and then this one right here is a manual. You just pull it down. It's super easy to work. And then there's a lever. Goes back up. Six-speed Allison transmission. By the way, optional hydraulic jacks. These things standard came with electric jacks, um, and electric jacks are okay. Hydraulic jacks are what you want. Um, I mean, nothing wrong with electric jacks. They get they get the job done. Um, they're just not as reliable and powerful as the hydraulics, um, and that that is what this coach has. You have a cool little cup holder here. Folds out. Folds back in. Engine brake control. It's got a block heat. So you can put on your engine preheat if you want. And auxiliary fans. So pretty basic setup. Got your smart wheel right here. Yeah, this thing is a dream to drive, by the way. There's a little chip in the glass I didn't notice uh, before, but it's a small little chip. I didn't notice it while I was driving either, but I'm nitpicking it. Um, not a big deal. All right. All right, we're getting on the highway now in this coach. And uh, one of the best things about driving it is the amount of power it has because you've got this big 400 engine and a 40 footer 40 footer um, and it, it'll get up and go I mean we're already up at 50 miles an hour right now 60 I mean it off the line it feels fast for an RV um, so that is a big plus super smooth the cruise control is easy to set 60 miles an hour there it is yeah, no shaking whatsoever. The steering wheel is slightly to the right. I've seen a few coaches that do that, um, but it doesn't really bother me because the thing goes dead straight. It doesn't pull to the right at all. Yeah, this is an excellent driving coach. Very smooth. Very quiet. I mean, you still got some rattles. It's gonna. It's an RV, but look, I mean, cancel because I'm on an exit ramp here, but... Once I get right here, set it straight, it's dead straight. Put it on high. The high exhaust brake is powerful in this coach. Um, it'll slow you way down uh, and quickly. The deceleration on this high exhaust brake is nice. I guess you could call it acceleration, but it's a negative acceleration. Uh, I'm forgetting my unit stuff, but either way, the high exhaust brake is strong. Low is nice too. If you're coming down a steep hill and you just want to maintain the speed, low is there for you. It's got your back. Obviously, the, it's a big plus to have a double stage or two stage exhaust brake. But the coach drives great. Um, I mean, I'm whipping it around. It feels, it feels nimble for an RV. I mean, obviously, you know, this is a massive RV, 40 feet. Um, for an RV, it feels nimble. I feel like I can skirt in and out of town, no problem. This is a great driving coach. Um, Spartan chassis is tight too. I feel like the Spartans have a tighter front end for some reason. Um, I don't really pick sides, Spartan Freightliner. Um, just depends on your preferences, of course. But for a 40 footer, this is going to be one of the best driving 40 footers um, outside of Prevost space that you can buy especially with the Spartan chassis. Lots of useful gauges up here. Got my oil pressure, water temperature, my volts, uh, front air PSI, rear air PSI, fuel gauge. Um, and the big one in the center is your, you got speedo tack, of course. And your speedos are in the center, I like that. Yeah, this is a great driving coach. Uh, the view out the front is excellent, super deep. Some of the American coaches have massive dashboards which is a little bothersome. This one does not have that. We have a very tall feeling um, 
front windshield and perspective here. Oh, gonna use that strong exhaust brake. Here it comes. Brakes are excellent. Brakes are very excellent. I mean, they're right there. Um, you gotta press the pedal about 5%, then you're smacked with a bunch of braking power, and that's nice. So I think that's gonna conclude the test drive video. I mean, there's nothing much to say. It's an excellent driving coach. Um, you know, it, it's got an exuberant amount of horsepower. And I don't know if I'm using that word correctly. That just came to mind. So all of you guys out there who know English better than me, hit me in the comments. Uh, let's take it outside. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's got a lot of power is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so the power of the weight ratio is fantastic. And I think I'm harping on that a little too much here. I'm just going to skirt it right inside here. So anyway, that's going to conclude it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, today we're trying a different style of video on this thing. That's not all the way closed. I apologize for that wind noise that you might have heard from that. Um, dang, that's really annoying. I probably added a lot of noise just because of that window being open. Oh well, hopefully you stuck around until now you realize what was going on. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please check out more of our videos. We got a lot of nice coaches in stock. This is one of them. Um, not a repo. Nothing wrong with repos, but generally we keep really nice motorhomes in stock. So thanks so much for watching.